Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games playthrough. Uh, we're pretty much done with the game at this point. We've uh, beaten Wario stage and we've seen the credits. So we're essentially done. All we got left is just extra content and stuff you get post a game, I guess. Uh, first thing we're going to do is obviously we're going to go back here because I uh, still need to play this a second time. We could uh, potentially unlock some new games this way too. As long as they give us new games and not like push the older ones down our throats like that one. Seriously, I don't. It's not even like that bad of a game. I just really find it annoying because we get those games all the time. We even have rock paper scissors with Wadio and Mario. But yeah, like I, I want to say this is probably like one of my, one of my favorite stages, just because I like all the different implementations of Wario in these games, where it's basically Wario saying, "Yeah, everyone else sucks, but Wario," and he just like pace himself over other games and ideas, which is just really, really silly and also just really, really funny too. Seriously, WarioWare is such a funny game, and like it's it's hilarious. From the micro games to like just all the characters, to just like just the game itself is hilarious in in practice. I feel like oh damn it, I got a little trigger happy right there. Also, this this Mario Land reference, I love that because again, like I. I grew up with Mario Land. Mario Land was a series I grew up with. Mario Land 1, 2, and 3. And, like, I, I just think it's cool that, you know, the first Wario Land game is a Mario Land game. So it's just kind of cool taking a look at that on screen. Okay. I also like that game. It's a remix of an old game where he just like changes it to Wario, just like eye lasering the freaking bottle of eye lotion or, or eye lotion, eye drops, whatever you want. Oh damn it! For a minute I thought I was the hand. I'm like, wait, avoid. Oh wait, I'm the other one. Oh wow, really? Am I about to fail this? Seriously? I don't want to fail this. I really, really don't. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I am going to fail it right here because, I don't know, jumping is really weird. I, I, I always just hate those games where they like expect you to like jump over stuff, but then like you don't know like how far his jump is at first. Obviously I know it now, but like, isn't that like such an annoying thing in video games where it's like you start a video game and you're like... Oh, well, he probably controls like Mario does in this game, and then he just make him jump, and it's like, the physics are so off, and it just kind of feels like a cheap death because of that. Again, obviously not, like, a super similar thing, but I, I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna call this guy Red Thwomp. Then we just have to escape and then we're good. At least I'll get another life from this. I'm already mashing the A button when I probably shouldn't. There we go. Oh, Wario's dr dreaming of, like, triple-decker hamburgers again, I guess. I used to, like, really hate hamburgers. I'm starting to like them more now. But, like, I used to, like, really, really hate them. And just, like, imagining, like, a hamburger with three patties just seems like... That, that's way too much. How could anyone eat that? Oh, 
I like that game too. With Wario as a little bug. Pushing a golf ball in a hole. Damn it! I thought they were only going to put in one falling object. And I'm like, oh wait, I'm on level two. And then, sure enough, I got hit by a freaking fruit that fell from the sky. For that one, you don't want to pull it all the way down because you can, like, rip it. So you gotta be careful on that shirt one. There we go. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. Well, either way, we gotta... We got a decent score, I guess. I doubt we unlocked everything. I feel like we only sh saw, like, yeah. Oh, three games. Okay, I thought that we had, like, two remaining, but... Nah, about six sounds right. Okay, so now that we've done all of this, we can start um, experimenting with some of the other games that we have. Hey, guys, sorry about that random cut right there, but, um... Truth be told, after I finished up uh, playing through this again... I went ahead and recorded these four games right here. Uh, however, after I was done recording, I realized that one of the videos was incredibly short. So instead of basically doing what I originally planned, I decided to attach at the end of this video something else. So for the rest of this video, I'm actually going to show all of the micro games that I did not unlock in this playthrough. And uh, also going to essentially explain how I got this game right here, which, uh, has now appeared here. Uh, but anyway, um, I do have a list of all the games that I haven't played yet, and on this file I have unlocked them all. I basically had to play some of these modes a few times. Uh, there were some that only took me like one try, and I only had to play like nine games, like this one. Uh, it took me a really long time to get the last nine volt unlock, though. Like, I seriously had to play through this like four times and had pretty decent scores for all of them. Uh, but I did essentially get everything, and once you do get all of the micro games, uh, you will actually unlock this game, which is Pioro. And there is actually a sequel to this game called Pioro 2, which you can also unlock that's right here in between, um, basically Dribble and Spitz's games and Pioro 1. But to unlock Pioro 2, you have to do a ridiculous amount of... Uh, basically grinding, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to definitely discuss how you do this in this video. Uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and get things started. I'm going to play some of the, like I said, the micro games we did not see in this playthrough. Uh, first up, we have Jimmy T. There were two micro games we haven't played. Uh, specifically, this one, Mountain Mountain, and this one, Lift and Shout. So, when you uh, highlight these games, you can see there is a clear points requirement. So for this one, you have to get 20 points. For this one, I believe you also have to get 20 points. I'm basically going to show what happens when you get that score, basically. So here we go. You basically just uh, play the games. And for this one, you just have to type the button sequences with your controller. Uh, that's really about it. Some of the sequences uh, are more complicated on the second and third levels. And yeah, in these modes, you basically play it until you lose all four of your lives. And for the clear points specifically, uh, you really just want to aim for that number. You can obviously score higher, but definitely don't score lower. Because otherwise, you're going to have to do it again and try again, basically. But yeah, this is pretty much all you do with these games. And uh, basically, once you actually meet the clear points percentage, on that micro game, you will get a little flower icon, as we'll see when I finish up this one. I'm probably not going to try to get the flower for all the games we didn't play. I'll just show a little bit of each micro game and then just kind of move on to the next one. But just to, I guess, just show this off and basically give you the idea of what you need to do to get everything in this game. I figured that it'd be good to go ahead and show this off, basically, so... 
I'm just going to do this a few more times, then I can actually start failing the game on purpose. Uh, just to make this go a little faster. I think at this point I can essentially fail every game, but I'll go ahead and do like two more just to be safe. Because I think you actually have to get past the clear point number, so uh, I can probably, yeah, I can definitely start failing here, so I'm just going to not even bother. Up oh, so close, but yet so far away. So there we go, we got a score of 23. We essentially cleared the minigame. So, once you clear the minigame, we have that little flower badge next to it. And essentially, to unlock Pure 2, you have to get a flower badge on every single micro game in this game. And there are a freaking lot of these. And there are some micro games that are really, really hard to do this in because it really does get very, very fast the further you get into each micro game. So, just something you kind of have to look out for if you want to 100% this game. So if you're a retro achievement hunter, uh, this game is on retro achievements. Yes, there will be an achievement for basically getting a badge in every single game. So here's the other game we haven't played, Mountain Mountain. I'm not going to basically play this out to 20, but I will definitely show it off. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you do is just climb up a mountain. You jump on clouds. This could actually be kind of tricky because if you miss a jump, uh, I don't want to say like you automatically fail, but like it will be harder to clear the game for sure. And on the higher speeds, it will probably be impossible to clear it. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, Mountain Mountain. It's a it's a pretty decent game. And you know, when I was going through this uh, multiple times to get all these games, it was actually interesting because. I feel like some of these games were also like the last games I unlocked in my initial playthroughs of this game. So my very first 100% playthrough, and then of course my Retro Achievement 100% playthrough. So I guess I feel like there are some games that will intentionally show up later on than other games. I don't know, maybe that's just something weird, maybe the just circumstances allowed that to happen again, but I don't know, it really feels like that... There are some games that just never appear until later on, until you unlock a bunch of other ones first. Uh, so that's all the Jimmy T games. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to... I'll do 9 Volt last, because his are the uh, video game references. Save the best for last, I guess you could say. Uh, for Dribble and Spitz, there are two games. Uh, let me see if I can find them. Okay, here's the first one. UFO Assist. Uh, 15 clear points. Probably not going to get this one. I'll probably only go for him if it's like 10 points or something. But yeah, for this one, you are the UFO in the sky. It's basically like that one micro game in the intro stages where you, instead of shooting the UFO in the sky, you actually have to avoid it. And uh, the higher level you get, the more persistent it is. But yeah, that's pretty much what this game is. Pretty much this game in a nutshell. And yeah, again, I feel like this is one of the last games I've unlocked when playing this in the past. So I don't know, maybe that's just... Maybe that is the case. Maybe there are some games that just don't unlock until much later. But yeah, that's pretty much that game in a nutshell. Also, for anyone wondering, I will show off Pioro 2. I'll just go to a different file that I have where I have 100%ed everything. And that's how I'll basically show that off. I'm not going to really bother with going through all the micro games again because that's just is such a huge process that I don't want to really do again after doing it so many times. But I will definitely show the reward for it for sure. Okay, the other game I need to find is Zero to Hero. I'm trying to remember which game that is. Um, let's see. I can probably notice it if I just look carefully. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, this one's very simple. Not much I have to do for this one. It's one of these games where you need to stop the meter in the red. And that's pretty much it. That looked like a Bomberman character. Maybe it was. Yeah, that really does look like a Bomberman character. I couldn't tell you which one or anything, but like... It looks like a Bomberman character. So if I get this next one, I'll definitely show it off again just to show off the uh, 
Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll fail this next one just so you can see what the losing result is. Oh, How'd I figure that that would actually be the end result? But yeah, that's that one. And that's pretty much uh, Dribble and Spitz's games. Uh, next up, we have Mona. There are, once again, two games we haven't shown off here. Uh, the first one, um, I should be able to notice it once I see it. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Here it is. First up, we have Parking Prowess. I hope you guys like to park, because that's exactly what you're doing here. You don't have to worry about pressing any, like, buttons to stop. You just have to pull in. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys like parking, because that's exactly what you're doing here. And this could actually be kind of difficult, because, yeah, you have, like, almost kind of a thread-the-needle scenario in some cases. And this is a game that is actually kind of hard at first, because you're, like, trying to figure out the controls, and if you hit anything, you lose. So, um, it will probably take you a few tries. But that's the beauty of uh, basically playing a game through here, because you really kind of get a feel for the game and how fast it can go, and then just how to basically do each scenario. So... I do like that aspect of this, but uh, let's just screw up here. Wee bonk! Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, next one is Toast the Ghosts. I should. Oh, here it is. Okay. So yeah, Toast the Ghosts. Clear. Oh, ten. I'm gonna actually try to go for this one. Why not? So yeah, we have kind of a Luigi's Mansion scenario here. Where you just have to shine the flashlights on all the ghosts. You don't have to suck them up like in Luigi's Mansion, though, so it's definitely a lot easier. This one can be kind of hard, though, I imagine. With how fast I can go, for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thankfully, it's only 10. So, like, basically, once you get a uh, feel for, like, how many clear points you have... It's basically a matter of perfecting it a few times, and then just, like, letting the clock run out on the last few ones or something. Because you really don't have to be, like, super perfect in this. And I feel like the simple the game is, like, the more clear points it'll have, like, in all the mashing A button ones, I feel like they have, like, 30 or 40 clear points. And they're really easy to do, because all I have to do is just mash the A button. Okay, I can fail this now. I have the 10 clear points. We got one of them. And let's just leave it here, and we're good. So let's go ahead and take a look at that badge. Look at that flower badge. It is really cool, like, looking at a completed file and seeing, like, all those badges, though. It is kind of fun. Okay, next up, we're going to move on to Orbulon. Only one game for Orbulon. Uh, Focus Pocus. Uh, which one is that, anyway? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, this one. Yeah, definitely this one. Uh, so for this one, you basically need to pick what this object is. It'll kind of blur and unblur an object, and then you have to basically pick the right one. It can get kind of difficult. Do they only give you two, though? Because I feel like that's really... That doesn't really make it that hard. That could actually be kind of hard. I know what that is, but, like... I'm sure there are some people out there who could have mistook that for a strawberry. Okay, that's not that guy's face. That's just... Yeah, this thing. But, yeah, a very typical Orbulon game logic base game that's a dog they were both dogs but that was a dalmatian that's the strawberry so yeah like if you memorize like all the pictures you could probably get a really really high score on this one and yeah when I was younger and I was trying to get all the badges I basically did try to get like high scores on as many games as possible now, so I'm not really, I don't really mind that much. Okay, let me pick the wrong one just to see what happens. Oh, just an X. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Uh, next up, we have Krygor. This one is called Make My Clay. I believe it's this one, yeah. 
And I believe this is just an A mashing one, so yeah, 25 points. Okay, maybe it's not 30 or 40 like I thought it was, but uh... I mean, it's just pressing A. It's a very simple game that you can easily do. I mean, you just really have to mash the A button. You don't even have to be like an expert button masher. Because you only have to mash like... I think for like level one you have to mash one, two, three, four. And yeah, like four times. Then I think for the next one you have to mash it six times, and the next one after that eight times. It really only gets hard when you get like to scores in the hundreds and like the game ends in a second. That's when it gets like really, really difficult. But yeah, that's pretty much all this game is. I'll do it one more time. Then we'll leave. And just out of curiosity, let's say like the banana one. Banana munch. 25. Okay, yeah, I think 25 is the high one. I don't know why I said... Th oh, well, there are 31. Okay. Why is this one harder than this one? It's the same idea. Th this should almost be like the same game. I don't know why they have two separate ones. But yeah, that's the one game we had to unlock there. Uh, next up, we have Cats. Uh, this one's a very simple one. Mousetrap. Not to be confused with the uh, incredibly complicated board game. Where you have to build a freaking mousetrap, and then, like, the, whenever you build the mousetrap, that's all, like, you want to do. You don't want to play the actual game, you just want to, like, keep that trap going over and over again. And, like, most of the time, the trap doesn't really even work properly. So it's like, uh, well, what's the, even the point? Because the board game is so dumb. Oh, uh, God. Good old mousetrap. That was a game that, like, I really, really wanted... Because everyone freaking wanted that game. But then when you get it, it's like... I never want to play this. It's a mousetrap. <laughs> In fact, why are we even playing this? You catch a mouse, that's all it is. Okay, so next up we have the Wario games. Uh, there are three we actually need to unlock here. Uh, first up we have is Thumb Wrestling. Ten points, okay. Not a, not a difficult one to beat. Basically, you want to put your thumb down when Mario puts his thumb down. Aw, oh, damn it. He got me there. Oh, Mario and his tricky thumb. Oh, damn it, he did it again. But yeah, some of the, like, the ten clear ones can actually be kind of difficult. Let me see if I can actually do this. There we go. I almost want to try to get the badge for this one. But yeah, like all these later ones, they basically just equate to timing anyway. So I can probably do this one and be fine. Oh, damn it. Well, either way... I got it. I got the badge. Just to make sure. We Oh, he got me. Oh, well. It is what it is. At least I got the badge for it. Okay, next game we have is here. We have Sinking Feeling. For this one, Wario falls and you grab an umbrella. That's really all it is. That's it. And it becomes increasingly harder to grab the umbrella due to speed and I think this yeah the size of the umbrella gets smaller too. We I'll do it one more time and then I'll probably stop because I'm not I don't feel like going 20 rounds of this. I think you guys get the point. So anyway, next up we have this one, Wario Kendo. Ten points. This one is actually kind of hard. I always remember hating this one. Basically, yeah, you have to catch the object that the other person is about to hit you with. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, let me press the A button to catch this, but then you like do it too early. And then, of course, in that one, she just throws it for some reason. It's a weird game. It's a weird game, but, like, 
WarioWare is a weird game, so you can't really say too much about that. Like, you can't use that as, like, a point against the game, because, you, again, you know what you're walking into when you play a Wario game, or a WarioWare game. It's just, in general, a crazy time. I'm gonna get that badge. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna get the badge. I'm gonna end one too early. Well, that sucks. Who cares? I already have the badge in a different file anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's all the Wario games. And next up we have 9-Volt. I saved this one for last because these are all the video game references. And I feel like uh, that's definitely what you guys probably enjoyed during that part of the playthrough. Uh, first reference we have here is to Hogan's Alley. For this one, I basically think you just want to shoot the bad guy and not shoot the innocent civilians. So yeah, again, kind of another light gun game. Light gun super scope game. And yeah, you have multiple uh, targets and some of the harder difficulties. So yeah, that's pretty much this game in a nutshell. Shoot the baddies. S shoot the baddies and save the goodies. And now it's time to be a bad person. Sorry, lady. And the last game we have is probably a reference that you guys are going to be very familiar with. We have Ice Climber. And for this one, all you have to do is you have to grab the bird. This is going to actually be kind of difficult because uh, just judging the jump of Popo can be kind of a challenge. And in some cases, you'll start on, like, a different level than the bird, so you kind of have to judge that and make your movements based on that. For <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, the first one can be pretty easy, though, because you just have to make a running jump and you'll get it, no problem. Oh, come on. I should have got that. But, yeah, that's... That's basically Ice Climber. That's that's Ice Climber in a nutshell. Oops. Popo is just walking off the ledge. And here he's just gonna fall off the side. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh those are all the micro games. I've shown all the micro games that I didn't unlock in the playthrough. So if you've watched this playthrough from start to finish, you will have seen all of these games in some form or another. And like I said, when you get all badges on all of them, you will unlock Pioro 2. But, I'm going to probably show these games off last because they are the ultimate unlockables, I guess you could say. And that will probably do it for this video, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, I will do a video solely dedicated to these games, the, uh, I guess, the pig games. Why do these pigs have bikinis? That's... That's not right. Let's let's end on that later folks.